Hey guys, what's up? It's Cassie and I am going to do a little haul today because I feel like it and because I went shopping today, so might as well. I went to, well, I bought things at two stores and so I'm going to show you what I bought at those two stores. One is Bath and Body Works, of course, because that's my favorite store. And the second one is this Japanese store. I, I honestly don't know what the name of it is so I can't really tell you what the name of it is but everything in there was a dollar fifty a dollar fifty oh my gosh so I got a few things from there so what I'm going to start with is Bath and Body Works so got the bag I haven't done hauls in a while it's been a while so I got a few fall things because there's fall stuff coming out in Bath and Body Works and you know me, fall is my favorite season. So I have to start stocking up on my fall candles and candles honestly are one of my favorite things. I, I will choose it over a wallflower, over like a room mist, over air freshness. I love candles. I love burning them. So this one, this one is Honey Crisp Apple. I gotta like show it off, you know, and it smells so good. It literally smells like apples. It smells like an apple grove or apple tree. I don't even know. But okay, there's a trick that I'm going to tell you guys right now, but some people might know, but I don't know. This one time I was in Bath and Body Works, it wasn't today, it was like some other time, like a long time ago. And the worker was like, if you really want to know how candles smell, like burn, because sometimes they can smell different than like the actual candle, you smell the lid. So like if you like the smell on the lid is how it would smell like if it was burning, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm really excited to burn this. I'm going to wait a little bit to burn that because I still got like some other candles going on. So, but that is definitely going to be burning soon. The next thing that I got is this sleep mist, this pillow mist thing. It helps you sleep faster and um, it helps you like relax and calm down and like just to sleep. So. Um, it's a lavender vanilla pillow mist, so I got that and it smells so good. It smells like lavenders, of course. Love that scent. Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing really else to say about that one. And then the last thing that I got, um, there was a deal going on. If you spend $30, you get $10 sauce, so all of this was $20. Um, I had like two dollars left to spend so I got a hand sanitizer and a little case whoop, a little case for it because they're both a dollar so makes two dollars you know and then I got this Halloween themed one because Halloween is my favorite holiday um and I may or may not have thinking about decorating my room again for Halloween but honestly I don't know if I should <laughs> anyways this one's ghoul friend on it See, look at that hand sanitizer. It smells so good. It smells like strawberries, like that artificial strawberry smell. It smells so good. And then I got a cute little pink sparkly case to go with it. It kind of like matches this dark pink theme going on. I'll just put that in there. Yeah. So that's all I got from Bath and Body Works. And then moving on to this random Japanese store, I don't even know what it's called, but they had really good stuff there. So the first thing I got, I got like mostly beauty stuff because, yeah, that's just how I am. <laughs> Anyways, I got this, okay, I really want to know how these work, so honestly, I might try this on camera. I might even try other things that I'm going to show you on camera. Anyways. This is the Charcoal Makeup Remover Cleansing Tissues is what they name it, but it's basically like makeup remover, well it says makeup remover, duh, but it's charcoal, like, I wonder if like the towelettes are black, 
and the charcoal infused. So I wonder how these are gonna work out. I haven't used face wipes in a long time. I usually just rinse my face and do my normal skincare routine, but so this will be interesting to try out. And then the next things I got are face masks because a girl can never have too many face masks. I love face masks. And I don't even know what these are. It's all in Japanese or Chinese, whatever it is. I, all I know is that, that there's five masks in there because it has a number five and I Google translated this. So all I know is that there's five masks in here. But if you wanted to know, this is what it looks like. And here's the back. So, yeah. And then this other one. Oh, and I guess, okay, so I also Google Translate, translated like the, I guess what it's infused with. And this one's infused with fruits. And then this one's infused with seed oil or something like that. So, I mean, if you're allergic to like, or something. I would suggest getting that. But the next thing I got is some hair or some bobby pins. They call it hair pins because they can't, you know, copyright and everything. But this is what it is because I needed some new bobby pins because I had three left and they were all stretched out. So I needed new hair or bobby pins. And then the last thing that I got is a new beauty blender because a girl does not have any more beauty blenders. I threw them out a long time ago because they were just absolutely disgusting and I've been using, I'm literally gonna expose myself right now, but I have been using this one sponge and it is disgustingly dirty and yeah. So I'm going to get rid of that real quick and then I have this beauty blender. So yeah, that is all that I got from that Japanese store. Now I'm going to switch over into my bathroom and I'm going to try out this charcoal charcoal wipes and then one of these face masks and you guys can like come along with me I guess if you want if you're interested in that but if not then you can click off honestly so yeah Alright so I didn't even talk in the bathroom so now I'm going to explain to you so I am taking this charcoal face makeup remover thing <laughs> and um, it's not black at all. I really thought the white would be black, but it turns out it's not. It's actually really soapy, but it's nice. So I'm just going over my face, going around my eyes, which um, it actually doesn't burn my eyes whenever like I literally put it inside my eye because I lay it on my waterline. So yeah, I just try to take that off and also my mascara. So it doesn't burn, which I'm very surprised about. I wasn't crying over it because usually makeup removers, especially cheap ones, they will burn your your eyes whenever you try to get near it. So I actually really like this. And it's really cheap too. It's dollar fifty. So now I'm just washing my hands to get all that soap off. And then I'm going to go in with my normal face wash. It's this coconut face scrub that I got at Ross. It is $5 and honestly I really like it. It really smells like coconut. So I'm just putting this all over my face. It's like a, it's a scrub so it has like little beads in it to like exfoliate your skin. I don't want to say that word, I'm sorry. And it washes your face as well because there's soap in it. So I'm just rinsing that off right now. Alright, so now I'm just drying my face. I'm dabbing my face because you don't want to rub, but I am going over my eyelashes once again. My face is really red. Now I'm going to take this Japanese fruit face mask and I'm going to try this out for the first time. So they came in five, obviously, so I just grabbed one out. This is a paper mask, obviously. So I'm just going to put that all over my face and flatten it out. Now 
Now I'm not the best at putting on these masks. So yes, there are wrinkles, but it's also big for my face. So that's what it looks like on. Now I'm just going to wait basically 10 to 15 minutes and see what happens. All right, it's like I can't, I can barely talk right now without it falling off. But it's been about 15, 20 minutes. I don't know how long I was supposed to leave this on. And I probably left it on for way too long. But it's not even dry, so like, I don't know if I should keep it on for longer, but I'm gonna take it off anyways. So, I'm just gonna take this off. All right. I have a trash can there, don't worry. And I'm just gonna rub in the residue that's from that mask so it can just soak into my skin overnight. And then after my face dries, I'm going to moisturize my face because moisturizing your face is always important. So yeah, so far, like as of right now, it's pretty good. I would give it a 6 out of 10. So, yeah. Alright, <laughs> that's all for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching me doing this video. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys next time I make another new video. Please subscribe and like this video. My Instagram is down below if you want to follow me, which you probably should. And yeah, leave a comment saying anything because I like to read your comments. And yeah, alright. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!